This video is going to look at some different cell types and not plant and animal cells, but some of the other ones you need to know about. The first cell we're going to look at is a yeast cell. Now a yeast cell is a single celled fungus um, and it looks very much like an animal cell. It, the only difference is that it has a um, chitin cell wall. Um, so it doesn't have chloroplasts like a plant, but it does have a cell wall, but the cell wall is not made from cellulose, but from chitin. The second cell type is an algal cell. An algal cell looks more like a plant cell. It has a cell wall around the outside. It has chloroplast. What makes it different is that it can move. It has a flagellum, and the flagellum allows it to swim towards the light. It also has some light-sensitive spots, which I haven't added to the picture, but um, which allow the algal cell to sense where the light is and then to swim towards the light. The next cell we're looking at is a bacterium. A bacterium um, is a prokaryotic cell, which means it, it doesn't have a nucleus. Um, it doesn't have any um, organelle with a membrane around it, so it doesn't have a mitochondria or um, chloroplast either. It has a loose circular chromosome of DNA inside its um, cytoplasm. And it will have some small circular um, plasmids, which are small bits of DNA inside the cytoplasm as well. And quite often they will have flagellum or um, cilia to help them propel themselves forward. Um, many of them have a slime capsule and this protects them against the environment. Finally, we're going to have a look at viruses. Now viruses are very different. They're not cells. They don't have a membrane. Um, they have a protein capsid. Um, which is crystalline in shape and which surrounds their um, genetic material, which can be DNA or RNA. Um, some will have a membrane with them, but many don't. And when you look at the picture of them for GCSE, you don't have to know about the membranes around them. Um, they will have proteins in their capsid that allow them to anchor to the cells, which are the red things on the side. And then the genetic material can be injected into a particular cell and then they replicate inside cells.